Hey singers, I'm Sarah Lieb, this is SingingTV.com, and together you and I, we are making singing simple. We are making the internet's easiest to understand voice lessons and singing tips. So, last episode we talked about the blues scale. We sang... I should put a natural sign here. Good. And, um... What I want to teach you today is about a different part of the blues, what we call a blue note. Now, oh Sarah, all this intellectual cerebral crap is totally unimportant. I just want you to teach me the thing. In fact, that's not true. We use this in blues, we use this in jazz, we use this in rhythm and blues, we use it in contemporary rhythm and blues, what you'd call R&B. We use it in hip-hop, we use it in country, we use it in bluegrass, it's everywhere, in rock and roll. We use this everywhere, and therefore in pop, because pop came from rock, right? So really, well, and let's not get into semantics, we could argue about that for a while, but in any case, almost every kind of contemporary music that we hear comes from originally the, the blues, so, or has elements in it that were taken from the blues. So, what I want to talk about is a blue note. What is a blue note? You may have heard of the very well-known jazz club called the Blue Note in New York. Um, they also have ones in Japan. I think there's one in Milan. But, um, what we're talking about here with the blue note is actually a bended note. So we had do do do, right? Now I want you to learn how to bend those. Do do do. It's sort of bent and slid at the same time. So you try that. Do do do. Try it at home. Yeah. Then we're gonna slide from this note to this note. Do do do. You try it. Do. on it, you can call it, you know, whatever you want, down, a slide, you know, if you were a guitar player, you'd actually be bending the string to be able to do that, we have to learn how to do that with our voices, do, 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 that might be a line that a blues guitarist might play, you might hear, you know, John Mayer play that, or uh, more contemporary people, you know, blues guitarists, um, playing that kind of line. I want you to learn to sing that kind of line, too. So let's do it again. Do, 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 bendy and bluesy and kind of crunchy and funny and twangy and, you know, insert your uh, word here. Do articulate with the tongue or the lips, right? We have to articulate with the vocal folds. So we go If you can speed that up That kind of thing is what we're doing. So we talked before about permutations. What does that mean? It means writing this scale out up for, you know, a couple octaves if you want. It, you could do it in any key you want. If, you know, for me, my note lowest, really good note is a G below middle C. So if I were going to write this out of practice, I'd probably write out this same scale, but in the key of G, um, with the same intervals, right? So there wouldn't actually be an F sharp, it would be an F 
natural because the, uh, the F is lowered by half step. I'd write it out in G and then I'd write it out for a couple octaves and I'd go da, oh, and maybe sometimes we, we skip this oh, permutations of the same scale. La, la, ah, oh, oh, la, 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 it's that kind of thing. It's just learning to sing these things fast enough and so that you're separating notes enough. So what we often do as singers and what instrumentalists are able to do differently is that when they articulate notes, and when we often normally articulate notes, we're articulating the note, of course we're changing with our, uh, you know, our vocal folds, but we have to articulate with tongue and lips. So if it's really hard for you to do this kind of thing, then articulate it with your tongue. You can do D, you can do Li, whatever you want. Or maybe diddle diddle diddle. Until you can separate those notes with your vocal folds so that you can really hear the and you know the distinguishing difference. Oh, Singing TV.com. Together, you and I, we are making singing simple. 